Ando, mm -hmm. as if the break wasn't upsetting enough for you yep. with the government mm. um, blockading our efforts to get back on air sooner. Just got over it. Unfortunately, yep. we continue to upset you. Oh. Everything is neat and practical Because that's the way he likes it But what if it wasn't? Upset Andy! And it, so many came in over the break. No, just I feel sorry for the ones that fall batch. on my side of the fence because obviously the emails get split 50-50. Yeah, hood over the head, yeah. taken out the back, buried. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> well, it, gives, yes. it gives me an idea They're of how many, of. how many are coming through. I'm sure they are, very neatly, mm. and uh, mopped up afterwards and you <laughs> yeah. go back to the drawer where yeah. you have your, you know, assassination gun and you take it apart and clean it neatly and put it back together and yep. sit down and watch some French crime dramas. <laughs> <laughs> Sipping a Pinot. <laughs> I'm sure they get taken care of very, but it does give you an idea of how many are mm. coming in because I'm only saying half and there is more than enough to go from here. Lee, ahoy. Do you have something to upset Andy? G'day, guys. Um, I've got something that upsets me absolutely terribly. That my wife does. Yeah. Yeah, I very rarely get to go shopping with her, but when I do, I absolutely hate it because the first thing she does when she walks into Woolies or Coles is go straight to the freezer aisle and always the first thing that goes in the shopping trolley is the ice cream. No. And then from there, she goes and leisurely strolls no. around the whole rest of the shop, every aisle, <laughs> up and down. Round no. and round. No, no, Without. no. Sometimes you just got your pattern, Ando. <laughs> so maybe you just you just get you getting your pattern and you do it the way you like to do it. Particularly in summer, doing it doing it last, maximize the fact. It'll that... refreeze. <laughs> but then you get the kind of you know the weird Yeah, little, the melty bit. The melty kind of refreezy bit yeah, on top That's of the it. bit you eat while you're serving it up. <laughs> that's the <laughs> chef's treat. It's a bit icy. A bit, yeah, no, nah, that has upset me, Lee. And um I don't think it's grounds for divorce, but Tell her she's on a stern warning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you, Lee. Appreciate that. Um, Tegan, ahoy. You got something to upset Andy? Ahoy, boys. Welcome back from the government-mandated break. Oh, thank Great you. to be here. Um, Huge relief. <laughs> mm. This one's particularly heinous. Um, my husband, he just got a new phone over the break, and when he was setting it up, he lost his original photo of his screensaver, which is a picture of our daughter. Um, so instead of, like, looking back for it or asking me for a copy or something, he took a screenshot of his lock screen on his old phone oh. and <laughs> sent it to his new one. And so that is his screensaver. Yeah. So now it's just, it's the same picture, but it's got the wrong time and date with the correct time and date hovering just above it. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. And his head's popped off. <laughs> That's bad. I can't tell you how much I hate what, that. What, what's the big time that it says? It's like 10.30, 6pm or something. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but then the correct time is always floating over it in a better resolution. Apparently, but I there can't. I can't deal. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> there I mean, you go. Yeah, that's, that's very, very hot. That one. I don't that's like the thing. that. You're, but Andy, your eyes are seeing the correct time. They'd be more drawn to the newer time. Yeah. It's, Over time, that 10.36 would fade into obscurity. And it gives you the excitement of each day at 10.36 <laughs> of going, oh, oh what doubles. Your widgets with your calendars as well and that kind of stuff there. That's, that I've might never be set them up. Never set them up. Never <laughs> set them up. <laughs> okay. Lockie, uh, have you got something to upset Andy? Uh, ahoy, fellas. Ahoy. Uh, so ahoy. my upset Andy is um, I moved houses maybe like two years ago. And um, instead of going through the laborious, time-consuming task, of having to change my Google Maps location to yeah. home, mm. yeah. I kept the old one. And because I was still working at the same place, I knew my way home from work. So I'd just go to work whenever I was lost and then drive home from there. Well, what? Hang on. No, <laughs> I'm confused. I'm getting confused. So, so, <laughs> sounds, sounds good to me. So, so you haven't updated where your home is, but you'd know the address. Yeah, correct. But I'm not going to type it in when I can just... <laughs> <laughs> Who's got time for that, Andy? No. So when you're lost on the other side of town, what do you put into Google? Home? Work. <laughs> <laughs> and then once I'm like, usually about halfway there, I know where I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you just use it to like point you due east or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. basically know where your new home yeah. is within relation to your work. Yeah, correct. And I actually, since submitting that, I've changed job and home. Hmm. Google Maps doesn't know that though. <laughs> Google Maps doesn't know that. <laughs> You're right, man. Like, it you does. Have so much more I find time. it annoying to go in and edit those things too. <laughs> so ages. much more time takes on ages. your hands. No, but it takes ages to kind of work out where you are and that you could have had a far more direct route. 
That's a yeah, tomorrow you're problem. Moving. You're moving. You're moving. Yeah, you're I moving. do feel that you're sometimes. Moving. When you move, <laughs> it's just good. move. Just go in the right direction. We'll deal with this. We'll deal with this in the review. Thank you, Lockie. Absolutely <laughs> hate that. <laughs> uh, Chris. Chris. We got Chris. Um, what have we got? Ahoy to you, mate. Ahoy. Happy birthday, Andy. No need. <laughs> um, my wife does this, and it really kills me, because I think I'm generally the fast and loose one, and she's generally neat and tidy, but... When she fills the ice tray, because our tap's sort of either low or full blast, she just goes full blast, puts it under, shakes it back and forth, and puts it back in the freezer. So it's either half empty or full. I hate half empty. The, uh, so it's not it's not completely full. Yes, that's it. Yeah. No. She just so turns e- the tap so on. Whatever's right, each, in there is in there. Okay. So each cube isn't completely filled up. It's a bit of a lucky dip. Yep, that's it. Hey, this will infuriate Andy. Yeah, he, I've seen him fill up the ice tray at his house. He tries to get the bulge of the water mm. over the top, the meniscus. <laughs> like I've seen him wait to add drips, and then the frustration if you if you fail mm. by your own standards yeah. on the walk to the freezer. <laughs> well, I've yeah. seen him turn around and go little, back for more. It's my own little egg and spoon race on the way back. <laughs> Be very, very cautious getting it back to the fridge. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I understand fast and loose. Uh, I'm a bit of a fan of the swing it back and forth. But I do, I do for someone that is as time poor as me, I do like to spend the extra second or two <laughs> to make sure they're all full. <laughs> to, to let, let enough water be in the ice tray. So, yeah, I can, uh, I can see that would upset any. One last one. Mm-hmm. Um, Fatia, are you there? Ahoy, uh, gentlemen. Ahoy. So, look, what I've found is that keeping up with the recommended daily water intake is actually quite a quite a time-intensive operation. Yeah. So, I mean, you've got to walk over to the cupboard, you've got to get a cup, you walk to the sink, you turn it on, you wait for it to fill up, you turn the tap yeah. off, and only then do you quench your thirst. Yeah, that's so true. After all doing, those steps, you're right. You were too right. Too many steps, Hamish. It's unbelievable. Mm. Now, what I like to do instead is whenever I've done the dishes and I've got a whole bunch of fresh, clean cups, I just pre-fill them. I mean, I'm going to drink them. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to drink them anyway. So... That way, you just walk over to the cupboard, you get yourself a nice, fresh, cool <laughs> glass of water, and you drink it. You just eliminated all the hassle. A <laughs> nice, crisp glass waiting for you, like it's the Qantas Club or something. Dust and a few I, mean, I, feel like a, I feel like a Roman emperor. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the, the perks I mean, of being an emperor. I don't know if they ever reach those heights. Um, um, but I, wow. That takes just as long. No, but I think yeah, because you're unpacking the dishwasher, you're there anyway, or you, you're getting the cups out of the dish rack, like you're right there. And, you know, you invest that time and look at all the time you save down the track. Yeah, the marginal time it takes to fill all of them at once is a lot quicker. Yeah. Right, but then you, got you this there, daily kind of dusty water. Not really. When you think about a well, that's just out in the open all, all day, all night. Yeah, but People are happy to drink out of those for thousands of years. <laughs> Not anymore, so it's more though. like an internal well-protected <laughs> well. Mini wells, a <laughs> cupboard full of 20 wells. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Fatia. Really smart, Fatia. Really smart. I'm going to start. Hey, Ando. Mm-hmm. What's upset you? No. <laughs> Everything is neat and practical. That's the way he likes it. But what if it wasn't? Hmm. Upset Andy. I appreciate people direct messaging me on Insta or um, or, or on on Twitter and Raya just, and, sh- <laughs> <laughs> and showing me things that are really pleasing as well. There's like yes, a, I'm trying to care. We have pleasure. We we like to pleasure you as much as we like to upset you. There was a a girl the other day vacuuming. And she, there's a really tight spot against the wall mm. and her ca- cabinetry. But the vacuum perfectly went in like the size, the sides of, uh, of the nozzle at the end. And I went, that's good. That's nice. That'd be pleasing. Um, not even, with thickness, room for toothpaste coating on either side <laughs> of, the, of the vacuum or not even that? Uh, not even that. Even wow, that's tight. tight. That's real tight. Mm. Um, we've got some rippers that continue to come through. Okay. Sam... Ahoy. Ahoy, Sam. Would you like to upset Andy? Ahoy, boys. So this is something my old roommate used to do. He enjoyed apples, and instead of taking the sticker and putting it in the bin like a normal person, he would just stick it on the toaster and always in the exact same place. It was sort of like it would clump up and just become this conglomeration of apple stickers that each week I'd go and sort of scrape them off and put them in the bin. One day I went away for a week and I came back and it was, you 
you almost couldn't see the toast. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of apples. <laughs> did, he, did it ever, um, look, did it ever impede the function of the toaster? No, but it just play looked on. horrible. It would, that Sam was exactly uh, right. It wouldn't have looked on. very nice. No. And some it, of these toasters. A stainless steel toaster? No, it was just a, it, was, it wasn't like the, um, what was it, the Russell Hobbs that uh, <laughs> your old roommate John used to have. It was just a Kmart toaster. Good, good deep cut. He still has the Russell Hobbs and still refers to it by name as if we are all very impressed with the Ferrari of toasters. Um, beautiful Sam. Thanks, mate. Like, yeah, that would upset me. That would upset Jack. me. Jack. 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 Ahoy, Jack. Ahoy, Jack. Ahoy, boys. Happy birth month, Andy. Nope. Hope you're not demanding too many presents already. <laughs> he is. Okay, okay, he is. Okay. <laughs> um, what have you got, Jacko? Uh, so it's something that my mum actually does. So when she's watching the footy, I always notice that she watches it on the standard seven instead of seven O H D definition. Seven <laughs> 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 That does frustrate me. Yeah. I, would she, do you change it for her, Jack? Uh, we always tell her that it's very easy just to get that high definition if mm. you just add a zero, but she always seems to want to go back to seven. She just yeah. knows where it it's is. doing the job. She feels doing the job. So I'm getting the gist of the yeah. game. If your mum invited pixels. me round, Jack... I'm saying something early in the conversation, and if she refused, I'd, I'd probably have to watch the rest of the game somewhere else. <laughs> do um, you do you change? Yeah, would you? Do you have viewing? You'd have viewing preferences as you go over to people's houses, would you? Uh, yeah, once I get there, I swiftly change. But mm, yes, yeah. mm. I, if I notice her doing it uh, by herself, it's always on the standard definition. <laughs> Vintage channel. <laughs> Throwback. <laughs> Tell us you, what Jack. your game from yesteryear. Nice, Jack. That, that would upset me. Uh, Nick, Nick, ahoy to you. Ahoy. Ahoy, boys. What have you got to upset, Ando? So um, at night, when I'm uh, putting my daughter uh, in the bath, you know, run the tap, grab the bath plug. But the only problem is my bath plug is a bit old and it's in about three or four different pieces. <laughs> So I kind of just uh, put them together like a bit of a jigsaw puzzle and just jam it in the hole. <laughs> no harm, no foul as far as I'm concerned. Does, it hold, doing the trick. does it hold the water? Uh, well, not really, but it, it, it holds water for about 10 minutes. Yeah, but um, who's having a longer bath than 10 minutes anyway? So. Yeah, that's it. It's actually a great trick with a kid too because while they're going, no, I don't want to get out, don't want to get out, be like, well going to get to a point where you've got no choice because we're a slow <laughs> yeah, drain. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. Um, they're Actually very smart. Just so you know, Nick, most plugs are standard size and you can grab one of those at Bunnings uh, or anywhere else. Chris, what's got time, Ando? <laughs> Christian, ahoy. What have you got to upset Andy? Ahoy there. Um, Sorry, I, I, hate the, I hate the plug one. I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I know you Christian's about to uh, yeah. launch. Um, but no, nah, the plug one's really got. And those plugs are about two bucks it's to replace. Yeah. Anyway, Still, or you can, I mean, you could even probably just jam. I'd probably just be, if it was me, I'd be jamming glad wrap or something. In no. The, <laughs> well, just to create a seal. The weight of the water Big would hold it sock. on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sock is porous. That's why I went glad wrap. But, you know, you try and error. So you, sock, maybe it's sock and glad wrap combo. <laughs> All much faster than going to the plug shop. Uh, <laughs> Christian, Christian, what have you got to upset, Andy? Um, yeah, so my mate's uh, watch is set to 24-hour time, but it's backwards. Yeah, that's fine. So oh, no. if, you were, <laughs> if you were to ask him the time and it's, say, it's 9.22 in the morning, he'll respond back saying it's 21.22. No. Oh, I mean, no. I, mean I would expect no. him to do the conversion. He's, <laughs> yeah. it would, I mean, yeah, but that, again, no one's falling for that. that. That's the beauty when they were coming up with the system of going, what look. What kind of watch? It's a, just a, not, not like an Apple Watch digital, but like an older style of digital. That's yeah. it. I don't think you, you can't really you can't set an wrong. Apple Watch to yeah. the wrong time because they're talking to the to the internet. But if you just go Casio, yeah, no, I don't, it, don't it like only that. knows what you tell yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't the, like that at all. The great Christian. system, though, Ando, the mm. great system of when humans notice, look, here's the sun, it rises, it hits a peak kind of halfway through the day, yep. then it goes down again. But they could have, we could have had like, you know, 24 hours makes some, but the system of going, let's just use the numbers one to 12, then repeat them again. Mm. You, there's no time you could get confused for the other time. Well, you can if he's got it the wrong way around. No, yeah. but I mean, if he says it's nine o'clock, you're not accidentally thinking AM or PM. No, 
But if, he's, if he says twenty one thirty, I'm assuming it's at night. But he's, but he's got not. Is he really tricking you? <laughs> <laughs> if he asked you just true. after breakfast, that he, if he told you it's, <laughs> you, 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 you missed the block. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late not, at night. To if he says 20, 20, 30, I'm not going to race home and get my pajamas on. <laughs> I got nothing done to me. <laughs> Fair call, Christian. Thank you. Uh, wrap this up, Sarah. Ahoy, boys. Ahoy. I uh, was very fortunate to recently buy my first home with my husband, and uh, I used to work weekends at the time, so I wasn't able to go and view the property myself before we bought it. Uh, and it was only when we moved in that I realised I made a fatal error, error in uh, trusting my fast and loose husband because mm. I laid down in bed that night, looked up at the ceiling and realised that none of the trim is cut at a 45 degree angle to create a nice perfect corner. They're just simply butted up against each other, uh, creating lines which are absolutely not optimal. Oh, are we talking architraves like in between the wall and the roof? Yeah, yeah, the trim or architraves yeah. across around the top of the ceiling. Yeah, I know oh, what you mean. No. So when it hits the corner, yeah, okay. This mm. is <laughs> this is real block season two stuff that we're talking about the block. Like this is the all the fast and loose stuff that happens on those houses. Yeah, and we recently did our redid our master bedroom and I just it, it all had to change. I couldn't couldn't yep. live with it there. Honestly, I reckon bedrooms. though, you this is the fun of buying a house though. There mm. never there's always problems. Um Amanda, you, the house you bought, you'd dream of having like a trace. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. I just bought, I've just bought a house that doesn't have a ceiling. Um, <laughs> and he's got a haunted house. <laughs> running water or and he's, electricity. And he's, got, and he's got bigger problems than that. He's got ghosts in his house he's going to get rid of. You're right, you're right. Must but, be nice to, to have uh, running water. <laughs> yeah, so as you're lying there in bed, even looking at a roof is a treat. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll grateful for what you we'll got. Get around to it, <laughs> but Ando, a bit of spack filler. You can create your own corners. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Carly's Carly's outside, just, <laughs> just shaking her head at this one. She lets a lot go past, but this one's not. I her. would like to have a crack at that. Okay, uh, Sarah, thank you very much. <laughs> Ando, mm -hmm. by far one of the things that gush into into the paddocks on my side of the fence of the emails into the email paddocks mm -hmm. is a seemingly inexhaustible supply of ways to upset you. Yeah, I ignore them on my side. <laughs> Sorry for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, not me. <laughs> Everything is neat and practical because that's the way he likes it. But what if it wasn't? Upset Andy. So many great upset andos uh, that come in. Jack, did you say you've got one? Yes, I have a desk at home that I wanted to make a little bit taller. Mm -hmm. So I took the legs off it and put a chock of wood on both sides and screwed it back together. How's it look? It, it looks fine because even though it, it's messily done under there from, from outside, you wouldn't know unless you got under the desk. But mm. what happened was when I was moving the desk recently with Bianca, we pulled, accidentally hit the legs into the floor and it pulled the chock of wood out and now it's sitting maybe half an inch above where it was because the screws uh, have come out oh, yeah. and so now I'm just dealing with a desk that's got a slight lean oh, to it all the way. I hate that. I'll come around. I'm fine. I've got one of those at home and I only write in the left-hand corner <laughs> and if you write in the centre it wobbles it but if you move over... <laughs> It's more support in the left-hand corner. And really, yeah. when you think about it, why should the middle get all the attention? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you agree? Like, let's hear it for the left-hand corner. I'm gonna I reckon some people would buy desks and tables and never use, use the left-hand corner, <laughs> yeah. and that's kind of a waste of money, isn't it? What'd you buy it for? <laughs> no, I dislike that, Jack, immensely. I'm going to flush that out with my own please, Andy. I got had this week. No, flush away. Is that a right hand? <laughs> yeah, I know it's, the segment's not about that. No, no, absolutely. Fl you know, it's your pipes. Flush yeah. them how you would. <laughs> um... I use bar soap, right? Okay. And, and I perfectly pressed the old soap on top of the new <laughs> one. <laughs> what? what do you mean you made it new soap out of two small soaps? No, the, the new one was a fresh bar. The old one I managed to, it was thin enough to be able to manoeuvre to put on top of the new but one. But is, is there a lump on the top? Tiniest lump, but it, it has formed itself together. Are you, happy forged. The, are you happy with the seal? Very happy. I can now scrub with the old, like facing me, and it's not yep. coming off. Okay. So I want you to be honest here. I'm going to run a simulation. You walk into the bathroom tonight mm. and okay, I want your internal thoughts yeah. and you're excited to see the sofa again because yeah. it's making you happy. You know that you've haven't wasted that sliver. Yeah. It's form it's now fused under the new mm -hmm. 
and you walk into the bathroom and you realize that as you've been out, the dry air has separated them and it's cracked off. Oh, that'd be devastating. I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. What, what if it did? Happened? What if it did? And you're now looking at it and it's cracked and frayed and what you thought was a perfect seal mm. is not, it hasn't worked. Oh, I'd just be super disappointed. I'd reflect on how I put them together. <laughs> <laughs> but I tell you what is happening is I, I'm not arriving excited about the soap. I'm normally coming in and going, oh, I need a shower. And I turn and see it and I go, oh, that's good. That's joy. That's, it's, it's unexpected yes. joy, Jack. You're right. Yep. Anyway. And, yep, from soap, soap <laughs> thriftiness, <laughs> like soap value. Soap is value. that what excites yeah. you about that, the yep. value of the soap? But if it wasn't sticking, I would get rid of it or push it. I'd, just, I'd shove it down the power pole. If, I, the, used, the if I used, yeah, bar soap, I, rather than try and stick it, I would just wash extra long to get rid of it. I'll just go over. <laughs> I'm trying to think. What would, like I a a, what would I do with What would I do with a slither of soap? Yeah. And I would see it as good. I would be happy to just rub it over like a rough part of my knee for yeah. ages until it was gone. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. not for us to upset Ando mm-hmm. or please him mm. uh, internally. That's hey, up to pleasure the fest coming back this year, or oh, we'll have a look at it. <laughs> Nicola, <laughs> Nicola, <laughs> do you have something to upset Andy? Ahoy, boys. Ahoy, I Nicola. do. Um, so my partner Callan put all of his iPhone apps into folders. Well done. Which well, actually, at, so far so good. Yeah, it might seem pleasing to one Andy Lee that he does that. However, uh, things are just not quite where they belong. So I'll give you three quick examples and they'll get progressively worse. Mm-hmm. So to start us off, his food delivery apps are in the entertainment folder no. next to Netflix, streaming services, that sort of thing. Actually, Why is that? Uh, he says it's because food is entertaining. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, agree, I agree with him. Uh, what's right. the next folder? So his Lotto app is in none other than his health folder, and his reasoning for this is that if he wins the Lotto, it'll be good for his mental health. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Always a healthy, always a good move for your health to win the Lotto. Um, what's our third one? So my last example, which personally upsets me the most, is he has his Google Maps in a folder labelled Sport. And now he says that this is because if we ever go hiking, you know, we might need directions. <laughs> um, look, we've been together for four and a half years. The guy's been hiking like once. Yeah, it's no. also <laughs> not a predominantly hiking-friendly app. It no, is not, mostly no. for driving. <laughs> <laughs> he drives more than he hikes. But he's hey, got his system. Yep. He's got his system. He's fast. Loose. Who's got time to change all the photos? Oh, I feel him. I feel yeah, him. Yeah, no, that's Oh, go in there. New folder. Rename. Oh, it's midnight. <laughs> I've run out of day. Uh, thanks, Nicola. Marcus. Marcus, Ahoy, what have you got? Marcus. Ahoy, boys. Um, and happy birthday, Andy. No need. Good boy. Um, well, talking about soap from earlier, mm-hmm. um, in our bathroom, we accidentally threw away the uh, squirting soap dispenser. Um, oh. But we still have a few of those big refill bottles that you use to refill the dispensers. Yeah. Um, so now when we wash our hands, we just tip the uh, big refill bottle in our hands <laughs> and uh, yeah. measure it out. <laughs> that. We're good to go. That's, it's still the soap. It's actually quicker with that big, <laughs> nice, big, quicker. wide neck. Yeah. You want to <laughs> yeah, it it get all the effort of pumping. The drips, the drips. It's actually more sanitary. No, it's not. <laughs> no, drips. You're not doing it right. I bet you use knives and spoons for honey, don't you? And instead of just tipping it out of the jar. Yes. <laughs> what a waste. <laughs> yeah. Scoff from bargain. All right, get rid of it. Unbelievable, Jack. mate. You just you, you get that's, good at the tip and twist. Yeah. Tip and twist. <laughs> that's uh, yeah. That's peri peri hot for me. I don't like right. that one. Yeah. Vinny, Vinny, can you upset Ando? Hi, boys. Ahoy, I think ahoy. I can. Mm. I think. Um, I'll preface it by saying, Andy, I think everything that upsets you upsets me too. Good man. <laughs> um, Good man. So I'm looking forward to hearing how you go at Pleasure Fest later in the well, year. Well, if I get a plus one, you're definitely part of consideration. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'll go into a raffle. Um, yeah, so oh, basically, let's not talk uh, about how ordered the selection system needs to be. For <laughs> how fair it is for everybody. <laughs> I like how you immediately said it was a raffle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. We've got, there's going to be an app and like a fair number generator or something. Anyway, yeah. so Vinny, what have you got? What have you got? Well, basically, I'm not sure if uh, Andy remembers when he was in touch with the common man and having to hand wash dishes, mm-hmm. Ooh, uh, but I, I guess like you, um, I have a very systematic approach to those kind of things. Mm-hmm. So I like to have different color-coded sponges um, for depending on which dish or glass where I'm doing. Ooh. So obviously, when you first fill the sink, mm. all, well, while the water's the cleanest, that's when you have to wash all the drinkware. So all the glassware, all the cups, that gets done before any of the dishes, right. which just I makes sense never, to me. 
I have never, <laughs> ever considered that. <laughs> that I have way. no issue washing a wine glass with water that's 30% bolognese. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. You know, it makes polishing the wine glass I easier if it's just clean. Polishing, <laughs> Vinny. I have never gone the alternate, um, like scrubbing brushes uh, or sponges, yep. but I do adopt your system of what's going to dirty the water the least on its way through the conveyor belt. Sure. For sure. Yeah. So what's but upsetting the problem about this? Is, well, the problem is my partner lives fast and lo- loose, and she doesn't adhere to the same rules as me. Oh, no. So she often takes the drinkware sponge mm. and wipes, you know, anything from the floor to the grease off the <laughs> oven top of it. <laughs> yes. And then that's no longer good for wiping the glassware the next time I wash the dishes. You're going to have to hide it. To be them. honest, man, sponges are for cleaning and it sounded like those things needed to be cleaned. Nah, you're going to have to hide them. You're going to have to hide them. There's certain <laughs> yeah. things that I do separate from Beck because she doesn't use them correctly. <laughs> I know. And <laughs> when you were talking about having a razor attached to the roof of the bathroom, I thought that yes. was pretty genius. Yeah. So I've trying um, to been th- I've been thinking of similar systems for the sponge, but put it high. If I hide the sponge, it. It, <laughs> it, it doesn't make a difference because then she just does the dishes with whatever is there at the time, mm. and that's still not good for the glassware. That's true. Actually, you've got a hell of a conundrum. <laughs> you've got a, mm. Oh wow! Well, thank I, you I for letting it. us sit in on this brainstorm, <laughs> Jens. I actually I'd never heard of this before. I was actually at a friend's house the other night, mm. and we were, while we were washing up after dinner, and he said, I thought as a joke, that's the glassware tea towel. And I went, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> and, Very serious matter. Yeah, we were really on the wrong page. And he was like, no, seriously, it is. I was like, no, oh, okay, <laughs> yes, oh, must, must only dry glasses with this. And he was like, but please do. <laughs> well, well, I started um, I started cutting the sponges down smaller so they're like the size of an ATM card because mm-hmm. so I figured – She's not going to grab that one to wipe the benches with, <laughs> but she lives fast and loose. She doesn't wipe the benches properly anyway, so she was happy wiping them with a tiny sponge. This is an ongoing battle. We always need to check in again yeah. because... Yeah. You're the best, mate. Yeah. 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 Like, you guys can take this off here, but I'm sure Ando, Ando will think about solutions for this and get it <laughs> yeah, to you. Yeah, please, let me know. Yeah, yeah. in the coming week. <laughs> yeah, thanks, wow. guys. On your bud. Uh, got uh, time I mean, for very, very quickly, let's do Tom. Tommy, ahoy. Ahoy, gents. How are you? Yeah, good. Very mate. good, mate. Um, um, upset, our yeah, friend. So I, I won't take your time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Small dig at Benny. Um, <laughs> oh, you know, just, I know Andy likes to be upset quick. Um, <coughs> so in April last year, I was at a Bucks weekend and I, um, sadly on a night out, lost my wallet. Mm-hmm. Um, I bought a new one and then only worried about replacing the debit card because, I mean, pretty much everything's on your phone these days anyway, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there was um, a wallet out there with your license and other stuff in it. Oh, yeah, but, you know, I'm with Optus. My data's on the web for free anyway. Um, (laughs) (laughs) um, Another flex. (laughs) So, um, well, luckily, though, in December, that old wallet was returned to me. Um, But I just didn't really worry about changing any of the cards back, so now I'm just running a two-wallet system. A two-wallet system. (laughs) Two-wallet system. (laughs) And you've touched on a good nerve here because proper wallet economy is in very serious to Andy. Um, Do you go out with both of them, Tom? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, jeans have... Two pants, like two pockets for a reason. Yeah, well, yeah, that's true. I've always wondered why. Well, phone wallet. <laughs> <laughs> no, back do you, though, but balance, do you go? <laughs> do you go? Have you ever, like, if you can't find one, will you just take the other one and go, I've got most of my stuff? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, you know, and there's, I've still got the old debit card to remind me of when I replaced it in the old wallet. So, Give that one a try. If it doesn't work, oh well. Yeah. You, know, you, you know you're in the wrong wallet because you use the bad debit card. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, mate, Terrible. I think that's a fine system and I can't see any improvement. <laughs> we, haven't, we haven't had one of these for a while, nor have we started the show with this for a little while. Everything is neat and practical because that's the way he likes it. But what if it wasn't Upset Andy? And uh, so many Upset Andys Sorry, coming just, in. Just as a new rule going forward, when you say I really need the top of the show, it's like normally something important, like mm, new yeah, signatures no. for us. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like, or like something that, that we don't I, we don't want to get to the end of the show and be like, damn, we ran out of time. Like, yes, so that's yes. usually the top of the show is the thing that's the highest priority yes. just to make sure we get to it. So that I, I don't think you're allowed to include this in No, but I think yeah. I am because... 
Otherwise, we've just kept running out of time previously. And so this, we've got to get to some of these okay, because okay. they are piling up. And you wouldn't like the side of this pile. No, I wouldn't. That's true. Uneven. <laughs> yeah. And it could fall over at any time. Yeah. This um, actually comes in from the US and just due to time difference, can't get onto this particular person. But this is a this just really tickled my fancy, yeah. both as a pasta fan and as a fast and loose fan. Who are they? What's their name? Uh, it comes in from Ben. Um, they have a friend. You know when you're cooking pasta, there's a trick uh, where you throw it at the wall, see if it sticks, if, yes. it's, if it's al dente enough, yep. and if it's well cooked, it should stick to the wall. This friend of theirs uh, opens the cupboard near the stove, mm. chucks it on the inside of the cupboard, and when it sticks, uh, Ben writes, it absolutely rattled me um, when I saw that he throws it against the door and he leaves it there. The door is covered in pasta. <laughs> <laughs> the worst part is if you try to take off any of the old pasta bits, once they've dried, the paint comes off with it. He's so fast and loose, he figures he would just pay for a new door once when he moves out and he'll break even with the amount of time. So <laughs> a collection of yeah. dried pasta on the inside yeah. of the door. That would upset, uh, that would upset me. As a fast and loose Italian, no, would, no issuones there. Just quickly, though, I think if he was to wet it, he might be able to remove it without removing no the No one's got time for that, my friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Must be nice to have that sort of random wetness time. Not the rest of us, mate. We are on the move. But we have a lot banked up. No. Brie. How good. Ahoy, Brie. Ahoy, boys. What have we got, Brie? All right. So around Christmas time, I bought some new drinking glasses. Um, but I just haven't had a chance to make room for them in our glasses drawer. Mm -hmm. So when I unpack the dishwasher, there's some glasses that just won't fit in the drawer. So I kind of just leave them in the dishwasher for another yeah. round. No, that's okay. No, because no. what is having really clean glasses? So Mate, absolutely, you can't double clean something. Um, and what is a dishwasher if not just a sort of a wet cupboard? <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense exactly. to me. Yeah, this does upset me, Bree. As soon as we get a new set of glasses, I demote the other glasses and they get put into another drawer <laughs> and so they all look the same in the actual yep. drawer. There we go. Everyone in the house lines up, claps them out as they get taken, <laughs> yes. taken moved yes. drawers. Thanks uh, for your service. Thank you, Bree. Uh, uh, Sunday. Sunday. Ahoy. Ahoy, Sunday. Ahoy. So my boyfriend lives in a share house and they've had a new guy move in who also happens to own a TV. <laughs> so that makes two TVs in the house. But the new TV doesn't come on a stand. It's just like it's meant to be mounted on the wall. Mm -hmm. Obviously, they're not going to mount it on the wall in a rental. So they've um, just lent it up against the old TV, which actually nice. sticks up two inches above. <laughs> <laughs> really good. So the old TVs become the new TVs rest. Yes, exactly. I hate that. Yeah, I absolutely <laughs> There's hate so that. many elements there on, that Andy wouldn't yeah. like. So first of all, a TV... Uh, a surface that's not intended to make contact with another surface, which would be the bottom edge of the TV, making contact with another surface, even that would upset Andy, let yeah. alone the fact it's resting back at an angle, so probably facing slightly yeah. to the roof. Is, the, is the original TV on a stand? Yeah, it is, mm. but the new one isn't, and it was almost falling forward. They've got it resting on like a dimmer for a light. <laughs> so <laughs> it's really just resting there yeah. precariously. No, no, not for me, not for me. That's very, very But honest. It does fall forward. Yeah. There'll be no moment where I was like, oh, what are we going to do now? Well, that's what we do now. Use the one behind it. Like they've got a backup, <laughs> the perfect backup TV literally is a backup. <laughs> like when you've got too many tennis tennis balls in backyard cricket, you hit one under the fence like don't care about it. Yeah, you get cocky when you've got yeah, four <laughs> balls. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Sunday. Uh, who's Andrew. 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 Upset Ando. Hey, fellas. How are we? Yeah, good, mate. Very good. Um, yeah, basically my partner... Um, has a really nice pair of uh, AirPods, or oh, she did. Um, she lost them the other week, and then I said, "Oh, no worries. We'll just use find my iPhone. Um, track the track the case." Turns out she's got the case. She's just lost one of the buds hmm. um, because she just throws them loose in her tote bag. Yeah, I hate that. <laughs> I knew this would get yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing: a Perfectly made receptacle pleases Andy so much. Yes, that's why a, a that's case that fits the thing perfectly pleases him so much. Mm -hmm. And so, conversely, not using that yep. enrages him. Beck has a a spot where you place your keys, like her, the in the car. Yep. Like you don't need the key to start the the engine. Yeah, okay. you don't need to put it in that spot. No, but it's nice when it's in that spot. <laughs> you don't need to do that. <laughs> Keep it in your pocket. That's what Bianca does as well, and just leaves the key. 
sitting on the center console and as soon as she takes the first corner the key flies off into the passenger side and they're going to pick it up and put it back again. <laughs> there you go you put yeah. it in, if you put it in the slot if you put it in the slot it'll it stay in the slot that. Jack's on my side for a change. A couple of slot fans. Uh, all right, Rosie. Good one, Andrew. Uh, Rosie, let's upset Andy. Ahoy. Ahoy, boys. Ahoy. Um, so this is something that my mum did while she was staying with me. So you know how you get the multi-packs of disposable razors? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so rather than getting one razor out at a time and using it until it goes blunt, she gets all of the razors out of the packet puts them all in the shower, and then rotates through them at random. What? Good. That is so <laughs> smart. stupid. That's clever. Because no, you just you just you get to have a look at one you, before you, you use rust, it. You can use the freshest. You rust them all, the the little pad that comes, to like the gel pad, that'll lose its ribbon it, retention. It sort of it gives, you, it gives you the excitement as you're in the shower shaving, I imagine, of walking into an orchard and picking a fresh apple. <laughs> And it they're just, not all going to. They're, me. they're yes. not going to be perfect apples. Yeah, but you pick the best one, Rosie, and that's yeah. that's the fun of it. I hate that, <laughs> but it's uh, not enough uh, to dis uh, disown your mum. Um, we've got a time for one more. Uh, Rosie, sorry about the wait. Another Rosie. No problem. Ahoy, boys. Ahoy. Um, yeah, Andy. I think my brother would really upset you. I've got two stories about him, actually. Okay. All right, so the first one is I had him over for breakfast one day, and I asked him, "I'll oh, clean up the table," and I looked over. And he was putting the ice from our drinks in the bin. And I was like, what are you doing? He was like, <laughs> yeah, I, I like put that. the ice in the bin because it's a solid. I was like, Solid. No, yep, solid's going no, in the bin. Mate, you no. put it down the sink. He was like, yeah. No, you chuck it in the bin. You can, it, it will change to a liquid over time, <laughs> yeah. but you can't be responsible for the future forms of everything. Okay, as it stands, that is a solid to him. I get that. I, I hate that. I've chucked ice in the bin. I hate that because it just obviously contributes to bin juice, which is the worst yeah. form of juice. Um, next one from your brother. Next one is when we were little, we had three copies of the same DVD, except they were all scratched at different points in the movie. So <laughs> we'd put on the DVD and then you'd watch it until it got scratched, change over the DVD, <laughs> skip it up to the point it was scratched, keep watching it. But the annoying thing was one of the copies was a Blu-ray DVD. So we'd have to change over the DVD player as well. <laughs> <laughs> what was the movie? Um, it was Barbie A Perfect Christmas. <laughs> Well, you <laughs> timely, mean, timely, timely. Yeah, you got an ordeal. <laughs> I mean, that is forget about it by the end of the year as well. So you go to put it on and be like, oh, oh right, we got to change the DVD. Three discs change and one player exchange. <laughs> like, do you, that, that this is, is it's like in the old days where you had like books on cassette over twelve cassettes. Yes, like <laughs> that's a lot of effort. That is a lot of effort for one. Rosie absolutely upset me. Um, uh, thank you very much, but also Please. tell your brother please. <laughs> Um, keep, keep them coming in. There's so many. Thank you. Always flawless. Ando, mm-hmm. everything seem nice and you feel happy? <laughs> yeah, I do, actually. <laughs> well, let's upset him, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> everything is neat and practical, because that's the way he likes it. But what if it wasn't? Upset Andy. Can I start and, uh, with one? Yeah, yeah, go for it, Jay. I've actually got one too. <laughs> I've got one as well. <laughs> okay, great. Does okay. this annoy you, Andy? Mm. We have lived in, we moved house maybe six or seven months ago. Since we have, we have never fixed the letterbox. It's on a slight lean right. and about one in three letters falls out the back of it. <laughs> yeah. But instead of fixing it, I've just put a pot plant underneath it so it catches the letters in the pot plant. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> That's great work, Jack. Let me ask you this, Jack. What about rain on the... Yes, some will get wet. Mate, name one letter you actually need to get. You don't need that many. You don't... (laughs) Getting getting the mail is the biggest waste of time. Go to the letterbox. Thank you for something that you you did from your mum say, I love you so much. Call me, (laughs) mum. Drag it in. Open bin. Open bin. (laughs) Open bin. Like, what... I what a pointless system. What a pointless system. Where, and when people go, no, but we sent it registered mail, I was like, congratulations, you've sent it the worst way you can send something. Yeah. You've sent it the least effective method. Mm-hmm. People must know that no one opens the mail and it just sits on the counter. And this whole thing, it's just about covering your ass. Well, I yeah. sent it. Usually well, now I don't even get it inside. I'll just go past the bins on the yep. way inside. And I've actually tell you what, Jack, get actually, your wheelie bin and cut a little letter hole in it and just leave that <laughs> at the front of your property and people can just pop it straight in. <laughs> You, you will laugh at me for this, but I don't receive any mail. It all gets sent to my parents. 
So that's Ooh, my original. Mail butler. <laughs> and my dad. <laughs> scans, Michael Lee, mail butler. He does. He scans everything that comes in and emails oh it to that's me. That's so annoying for him. And then you and delete then, it. And what? Delete Can it. we put more useless <laughs> actions in this <laughs> chain of irrelevance? <laughs> <laughs> then he prints off the scanning and then he sends it to you. <laughs> and I shred that, take the shreddings, <laughs> then I recycle that, turn it into new paper that I put into the printer to repeat the process again. Mm. And I... Here's one. Over night time, mm. um, after we've had dinner, as Zoe and I are heading to the couch uh, to watch whatever we're watching, mm. we'll either we'll get the bowl of chocolates, um, bring me my bowl, will be the shout from <laughs> one of us, and I often like to have maybe a yogurt after dinner, mm-hmm. um, okay. maybe with some berries or something in it. Just kind of it's like second dinner because we have about three dinners. I eat whatever the kids don't eat, yep. then we have our dinner, then I have something else. Yep. As part of the yogurt, I like to have um, crushed up almonds oh. on the top. You can't really buy crushed up almonds. I suppose you could buy the slithered ones. Anyway, we've got the whole ones. Yep. Crushing up nuts is a pain. It, like, yep. I don't I mean, even know. I assume what you would do is you would get a bag and a hammer or something and bang them. No, like, crush I them. think is that what, like, a, I don't even know how to pronounce it, mortar and pestle, is that... No, that's for seeds and herbs. Is it? Mortar and pestle, yeah. Yeah, right. What about the... um, One of the great power moves. Which one's the mortar? Which one's the pestle? Who cares? (laughs) And whatever whatever someone says, you just say it's the other way around. Yeah, (laughs) that's true. That was Um, one of the good ones. uh, What about this quick quick in the um, blender? Oh, Jack, I don't know what your evening's like, but I don't have time for that. Get the blender out just for some nuts. No, what I do is I get about 10 nuts, right? So I got the bowl of yogurt. I've got the bowl of you, i get the berries in them, and I'll just put the nut. Why would you get a blender when you've got two perfectly good molars yeah. at the back of your mouth? And I'll just <laughs> crack the nuts one at a time, and, and you get a little bit of spit on it, but not too bad. <laughs> and I, I just crack and I just let them fall out, crunched up. And that and it's like, it's actually like restaurant quality crunching. That like the, worries me now. And now every time I am out at a restaurant and something arrives, <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's the about. chef out the back, sitting in molars. A, it's a hundred times faster. I, will, I do myself the courtesy of <laughs> sucking, like <laughs> dr- dr- drying sucking. out the mouth a little. Yes. Just so there's, you're not drooling mm-hmm. into the yogurt, but just. Yeah. <laughs> and every time I'm doing it, I go, I bet you if Andy and I lived together, he'd have an, he'd have an issue with yeah, this, yeah, yeah. <laughs> walking yeah. into the kitchen True. and seeing this. True. I'm not going anyway, to say mine because I'm uh, already getting too riled up. Uh, Saves me a lot of time. Sam, Sam has got something to upset you. Ahoy, Ahoy Sam. Sam. Ahoy, boys. Gusto to you. Gusto, Gusto to you. To you. <laughs> Yes. Oh, that's great. I don't know if we've done that before, but it feels very, hand, it's like a fun version of Handmaid's Tale, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Under his eye and gusto to you. Um, uh, gusto yeah. to you, Sam. What have you got? Um, I don't know how much you'll be able to relate to this one, Andy. You strike me as more of a garage operator, mm. but I, uh, you know, you put parking permit that you, you put on your car every year yeah. to, to park yeah. on street. Mm-hmm. Had them before, yep. Every, uh, every year, instead of uh, taking the old one off and putting the new one on, I just go a little bit further up the window and <laughs> put my fifth one on a few weeks ago. At what stage will it get to? At what percentage of the entire front windscreen are you prepared to take off with just stickers? Not, not going to happen. I'll just move a little bit over to the right. It's, It'll affect the vision a little bit, but I can do it. So we're going to yeah, see like I, I a think by the time you've had a situation <laughs> where you've just got a small <laughs> slit in the middle eventually. Like a tank. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> I hate it. No dramas. Sam, absolutely hate it, Sam. Uh, They're is... very hard to get off those permits, mate. I feel you. You, you feel like it's going to take a whole year to get off, and by the time you get it off, it'll be time for a new permit. No, They're very yep. easy to get yeah. off. Uh, thank you, Actually, Sam. Actually, really hard. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Kieran. <laughs> Kieran. Kieran, ahoy. Ahoy, boys. How you going? Yeah, good. Very mate. good. Gusto to you. Um, <laughs> Gusto to you. <laughs> what, 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 you got what have you got to upset, people? Andy? Uh, mate, when, I, when the um, in-laws come around, you know, they, they'll be nice and bring, like, nice coffee rolls and stuff like that. But when, when my father-in-law is um, about to apply the butter to the ice rolls, instead of, like, just scraping off, like, a little bit of butter, following the uniform line of the butter inside the butter, Tub, he'll just like stab it and gouge out like a big chunk that. of butter. I hate that. And then, yeah. I didn't even know this was a thing. <laughs> Kieran, the butter's, the known, butter's there to be used. <laughs> I've been known when there's a big cavity chunk out like a crater in the butter, I've been known to pop it in the microwave just to oh. level 
You fill oh your divots. God. You fill <laughs> Replace your divots. <laughs> you just put some sand in it and play on. Very, very hot. Good, Jack. Like that Jack. And we, that, please mark down this date. That was Jack's first golf reference. He's <laughs> <laughs> slowly getting into the game. Thanks well, look at this. Mate. Since I have said that I got clubs, people have been asking me, don't make it a golf podcast now because you were the only one standing on the outside of golf that's and true. I well, said... Well, look what I, you did. No, no, um, that's the last one you'll hear from me. Okay, that's fair. Good, I good mean, luck. We do bounce around a bit. We're very fishing focused for a while there. <laughs> look um, out for more Dale, kayak news. Ahoy to you. Ahoy, boys. How are we going? Yeah, good, mate. Mate, uh, very good. You got something to try and upset me? So far, everyone's been smashing it. Okay, so summer cricket not too far away. Yes. Um, as you're quite aware. Uh one of my mates insists that he sets up the cricket wicket in his backyard, but when it comes to the stumps, he doesn't use the traditional upside-down bat and uses the handle. He will then use the face of the bat uh, and create several... To knock a stump in? Like in? To knock the stumps in. I yeah. hate that. That's a I can't say I can't say I love that. <laughs> yeah, um, no. I'm The only... Can I just ask the grip? This is a very cricket-specific question, but the, the grip at the top of the bat, has that kind of like foreskinned over so it's tough to get you know any contact <laughs> I could, between i would suggest that would be the only reason but I, generally there is a little bit of wood there that can give you a little bit of purchase to knock the stump in okay so there's enough wood on the handle he just yeah, chooses yeah, not you, to and you just fold it back i hate that is <laughs> i know how to use foreskin mate <laughs> <laughs> yeah i hate that i that's actually probably the worst one i, I had a kid do that with a new bat and about under 14. New bat would be outrageous. I mean, at least with the backyard cricket bat, it's often like the 10th oldest bat in the house. Yes, but still, don't put chunks in the middle of the bat. Um, oh, you can't, you can't even all. put the bat in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> Level out the chunks. <laughs> um, uh, Anthea, ahoy Anthea. You. Ahoy, Anthea. Hi, I've got something that I think is going to upset you, Andy. Mm-hmm. Here we go. I, when I was um, back at Easter time, I went on holidays to the beach and when I went, I just took like a reusable shopping bag as my beach bag that I had for the week. Okay. Um, and I liked it enough that I thought it would be a good work bag for me to have like my laptop and my phone and everything. In. <laughs> so since then I've had it as my work bag, but I just never cleaned it out after the beach. So <laughs> I just like take my laptop out every day and like brush some sand off of the keyboard <laughs> and then I go about my day. No, <laughs> not too many no. dramas here, I don't think. I think I think at the end of the day and there it's sand is very big. And a lot of the technology is so good now that its cracks are very, very thin. So it's very rare would a piece of sand get into technology. I think fine, Ando. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> I'm still on holidays, you know? Yeah, it's like no, a you're nice- not still on holidays. Don't take your laptop to the beach. Um, That's pretty funny if it just adds sand to your regular life so you still feel tropical. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, uh, Esther, I think we've got one more. Okay. Esther, um, what have you got to upset Andy? Ahoy, boy. Hello, um, So this actually happened a while back when I didn't have Spotify Premium. So what I would do, I would actually pre-record, like, like YouTube songs and, like, clips onto my voice memo app on my phone. And essentially when I was, like, in the car, I could just, like, play it for free. Oh, um, just play voice memos of recordings so like, of songs like, from YouTube. Bunch, <laughs> literally. I had, like, a bunch of voice memos that was, like, in my, like, app. And it was all like different music and stuff. So then I'll just like grab mum's like aux cord and like start playing music. I don't <laughs> hate clever. it. It's Pretty a not. Clever, to be it's, it's quite clever. I mean, obviously, the it's not as high a fidelity a sound that I would appreciate. <laughs> but I do love the ingenuity ham mm. of just taking a voice memo down. You and I like a loophole and we like a Love little- a loophole. And, and yeah. you know, a lot of people can listen to us on Spotify and I'm not saying Spotify is the man, but it is always fun to stick it to the man. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Esther, yeah. I think you might have pleased me accidentally. Do you know what? After so, oh, so well, much mm-hmm. upsetting Andy, mm-hmm. it might be nice to just finish on a pleasurable note. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Esther. How was that, Jake? Happy with the scorecard for that round? <laughs> Don't do it.